Code Red, this is not a drill. The official Demon Slayer game just got a huge patch. This is not the mod, this is the real thing. And this patch is huge. Every single character got changed. Though I feel like some of these changes are really small. Like they just kind of had to write something down to say, hey, we changed all the characters. Like for instance, Nengoku, increased throw damage. Yeah, by like 50. Wow, so cool. So today we're going to be talking about all the changes to the balance patch, but we will not be talking about these characters. That said, out of this entire list of patch notes, I love the changes made to every character, except for four of them. And one of those four might actually be banned in tournaments. But speaking of tournaments, what happens now to the tournament scene? We were doing tournaments with the mod. Do we just go back to the base game now? Well, I just talked to Ichunka and Nikito, and yes, we are going back to the base game for the next few weeks. Well, Nikito was already on the base game. Ichunka will keep developing Waterwheel Chronicles just in case we need to come back to it. But we are definitely going to focus on the main game for tournaments for at least a month. We'll see how far we can take this. We'll see how much this changes the meta. And if we get sick of it, we can always just go back to Waterwheel. Chronicles. But what's important is Ichunka, me, and Ikido are all working together to bring you a fair rule set for all tournaments to come. No matter where you live, we are all coming up with a common rule set for all Demon Slayer tournaments. And with that out of the way, here are the good buffs that the patch brought. Hinokami Tanjiro's guard break move now gives him a yellow combo, so now he can dish out a lot more damage from a guard break. Inosuke's guard skill recovery is shortened, so not only is he safe on hit now, on block he's gonna be a lot harder to punish. It's definitely still possible, but it's so much easier to stay safe safe now with an assist. Water Tanjiro's DP is also much safer now, recovering faster and pushing the opponent further back on block. You can kind of just throw it now, it's a lot safer. Sabito got a huge movement upgrade going from dash speed level 1 to dash speed level 2. This is a huge change for Sabito, it's a little line in the patch notes, but it's by far the biggest change. There are also notes on the skill, tilt skill and guard skill, but they're pretty minor to be honest. Now these buffs so far were very good, but they're not even close to what they did to the characters I'm gonna talk about next. First up, Yushiro, they buffed the damage on every every one of his skills, but to be honest, the difference is barely noticeable. The really big change here is on his guard skill. You can no longer parry it if it activates, and it crumples you on hit. So Ultra Instinct Yushiro is real and he can go for bigger combos now. It even goes through Dead Calm, so Gyu doesn't even counter him directly. Now you can still deal with Yushiro's guard skill with a strong attack or simply by blocking, but it's such a good buff for this character. I don't think it makes him top tier but it actually makes him not the worst in the game. Speaking of Gyu, massive buff for him too. First of all, dash speed from level 1 to level 2 as well. It's absolutely massive for him. His water dragon recovery was buffed, meaning you can actually dash into the air for free if you delay your button enough, making his combos much cheaper. And the dead calm window is actually insane now. It can still get interrupted on startup, it can still clash with your other moves, but it lasts for a lot longer now. So you don't have to time it as precisely. It's a big difference. Demon Esco got a couple of changes that seem to come out straight out of Ichunka's mod. You can now cancel her kick skill, and her demon skill has more damage and also more guard break damage. Now, Ichunka did something like this for Nezuko in his patch and it wasn't enough. It's a step in the right direction, but it has to be taken further. I think this character is still massively flawed. Still, 6,000 damage for 4 bars of meter plus a demon bar? Yeah, that's definitely damage. Entertainment District Zenitsu got a small change, but this character was already so strong that a buff like this might actually make him the strongest slayer in the entire game. Dash speed level 3. Yep, they made him faster. They did nerf his grab recovery. It seems like a fair recovery now. I like that a lot. And the damage on his skill was also significantly nerfed. So damage wise, this Zenitsu definitely took a hit. But he's even more oppressive now. His assist is still godlike. And with a level 3 dash speed, he's an absolute threat. And I definitely left the best buffs for last. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the ladies of Demon Slayer. Shinobu's guard skill got a huge damage buff from 200 to 800 damage and you can now cancel it on hit. So Shinobu's routes are going to be completely different now. You're gonna confirm into poison right away and then go for the rest of the combo ending in poison as well. Her damage just skyrocketed thanks to this change. And she also builds more special meter on all of her moves including her assist so she will build more boost and more surge than before. And then we have Makomo where I feel like they made all the right decisions. Decisions. Look at this wall of text. This is a full rework. First of all, she builds more special meter, just like Shinobu. The hitbox of her light attacks got incredibly buffed, so she's a lot less likely to drop combos. I mean, just look at the difference here. This is incredible. And her light attacks also deal more damage, so that's a good damage buff already. Her skill hitbox also comes out faster, so it's become an even better button in neutral. And Water Wheel got a few changes. First of all, you can no longer cancel it on whiff at the end of the move. You can still cancel it at the start, but not at the 
the end anymore. But this skill has been very buffed. If you do it from the ground, you can now go straight into air attacks. And it's so fast, it's gonna be great for her combos. And if you want to do a water wheel from the air, you can't go into attacks anymore, but you can go into other skills or the plunge attack. And just like that, Makomo is completely reworked. We are learning this character from scratch. But that's it for what I consider the good buffs of this patch, but it also had some very deserved nerfs. Let's keep going with the good news. Here are the nominees for best nerf. Akaza, Nezuko, Zenitsu, Urokodaki. And the winner is... Akaza. At first reading the patch notes, it seems like Akaza got buffed, and indeed, he got an increased hitbox on his plunge, and Collapse deals a bit more damage. But the one nerf they have is incredible. Air type now starts a red combo, so Akaza doesn't get rewarded as much for their safe pressure, which means their opponent can safely take bigger risks since the punishment isn't as big. We'll see if this nerf is enough to take this character down, but it's a very good nerf in my opinion. The Nesco nerf was also very good. You know how flying kick into ultimate was something you cannot escape out of? Well, now you can, so finally, that is gone from the game. It kind of felt like a glitch anyway, so I'm happy to see it gone. I wonder if they did go too far with heal bash though. They nerfed that hitbox again. We'll have to wait and see how much of an impact that has. And to make it up, she got a small damage buff on the cinematic attack of guard skill. So when you hold the button, she's going to deal more damage than before. Finally, Zenitsu got a simple change. We actually talked about it already. It's the grab recovery. Very fair change and they didn't touch anything else. Let's see how big of an impact this has. But what about Urokodaki, you ask? He was also nominated. Yes, but this is the part of the video where we jump into the bad changes of this patch. That's right, I started with the good news, but there are some bad news as well. Now, there are only four characters whose changes I disagree with, and one of them is definitely Urokodaki, because for some reason, they decided to nerf him. Reducing the number of traps he can have on screen from three to only two, and reducing their duration as well. I don't understand why this happened. The second character I disagree with is Enmu. I think the nerfs they did are good, but he needed something else to make up for it. He lost a very big neutral tool, which was dodging after the jumping attack. And with Enmu being a character with a level 1 dash speed, that means he wants to be in the air a lot. But now he's a sitting duck if he jumps. He can kind of still do it. If you throw a skill, then you can sidestep. But now that's two bars of meters. That's super expensive. Now, he did get a pretty cool buff for his demon skill. The unblockable is now slower, so we have to figure out new resets for that. So he gets a bigger reward for that. But this does not help him in neutral, which was where he struggled. And I think he'll struggle even more on the bad matchups he had already. I've always said Enmu is a tricky character to balance. He's very strong in some matchups, but he cannot chase you. You need to buff his neutral while nerfing his tools, so I don't think this patch did a good job with that. Yahaba got nerfed too, but it's hard for me to feel bad for him because I hate zoners, but he actually didn't deserve it. He can't jump as high now, and his attacks and boulders in the air don't have him traveling as much, basically meaning it's easier to snipe him off the air when he's jumping. And finally, we arrive at the big problem, Susamaru. Somehow, they thought she needed buffs. Susamaru got more damage on her light attacks, like significant damage. Damage. Her tilt skill tracking was improved too because apparently it wasn't good enough. But don't worry because her guard skill piercing kick got a damage nerf. Look at this, it doesn't hurt so much anymore. So this is a good balance patch, except they let her jump out of piercing kick on block. So this is actually free now. You just throw guard skill in neutral and you jump to be safe. And then you can go for jumping attacks or whatever the hell else you want. This is the change that might ban this character, but we'll see what happens. Still, even if this becomes a problem, I think we can deal with it as a community and create rules around it. Like I said, I'm keeping in touch with Nikito and Ichunka and together we'll figure this out. It might be a problem for ranked matches though, where there are no rules, but overall, I think this patch is giving players a much bigger choice. So many more characters have become reliable picks now that I think players should be happy with these balance changes. I'm thinking of posting some gameplay videos in the coming days, but until then, what do you think of this balance patch? And do you think the letter we sent to Sega actually influenced some of these changes? Because re-watching this video made me realize that we did ask for some of these things. We certainly didn't ask for Susamaru buffs, but what are you gonna do? Thanks for watching. Bye.